Consider the following example. We work for a company called Vphone, and Vphone are a national US mobile phone operator. Vphone are about to upgrade their system by deploying improved power amplifiers. And before they go into service, they're going to need to find out how many spare parts they're going to need to buy. Vphone have divided their support system into 50 regional support centers. One in each state across the United States of America. Now, for simplicity, we're going to assume that each support center supports 1,000 antenna towers. In real life, they would support varying numbers, but this will make the mathematics much easier. Each antenna tower operates 24 hours a day and is equipped with six power amplifiers. Vphone have agreed a 30-day collect-repair policy with the supplier. This means that broken units will be collected by the manufacturer using a courier and returned within 30 days. The manufacturer is also guaranteed an MTB for 250,000 hours and a no-fault found ratio of 5%. Finally, each amplifier will cost $2,100. Let's enter the data into Space Calculator. So, here we are at Space Calculator, and to save time I'm going to open up a file that I prepared previously. And there we are. Let's start with the project data. We're calling the project the VPhone PAU001. PAU stands for Power Amplifier Upgrade. And we're looking at one single generic regional store. The equipment is a tower mounted power amplifier. This is a part number of JS9876 and is made by a fictitious manufacturer called James. Now let's look at the logistic data. We've got 6000 units in service, that's 6 amplifiers multiplied by 1000 antenna towers. So 6 times 1000 gives us 6000 units in service. They operate 24 hours a day and they have an MTBF of 250,000 hours. They also have an awful found ratio of 5% and a repair turnaround time of 30 days. Finally, they cost 2,100 US dollars each. The next thing we need to do is set the optimization goal. And there are two options here. We can either choose stock out risk, or we can choose mean time between stock out. These goals are usually given to us by the sponsor. But for this example, I'm going to assume that the sponsor has given us a mean time between stock out goal of 10 years. So I need to enter 10 into this box here. So, that's it. All that we need to do now is hit the Calculate button. The first thing we're going to look at is the Stock Out Risk chart. This shows spare units on the X axis and Stock Out Risk on the Y axis. Let's switch to the Mean Time Between Stock Out chart. Again, this shows spare parts on the X axis and on the Y axis we have the Mean Time Between Stock Out. With this chart, the Y axis is logarithmic. So the first division shows 1 to 10 years and the next division shows 10 to 100 years and so on. Now remember that we're looking for the number of spare parts that will give us a mean time between stock out of greater than 10 years. So I'm going to find 10 years on the Y axis and then I'm going to read off the number of spares that we need. And we can see from this chart that we're going to need at least 29 spare units to meet our mean time between stock out goal of 10 years. Let's take a look at the tabular data. I'm going to click on the spares header to order the spares in descending order. And I'm going to switch out the cost and the stock out risk data so that we're not confused. And again, we can see from tabular data that we're going to need 29 spare units to meet our mean time between stock out goal of 10 years. We can also see the effect of holding 28 spares or 30 spares. Finally, Space Calculator summarizes all of this information in a handy annotation panel which is attached to the chart. To expose the annotation panel, you need to select this checkbox. The annotation panel is divided into six regions. The first region shows information about the project and store. The second region shows information about the equipment. The third region shows your logistic data. And the fourth region shows some high level logistic calculations. The first parameter is the MTBR which stands for mean time between removals. This is derived from the MTBF and the no fault found ratio. And shows the mean number of hours that should elapse before equipment removal. The next parameter is the fleet operating time. This is derived by multiplying the number of units in service by the daily operating hours and the repair delay. The total fleet operating time is equal to the number of hours that the total fleet of equipment will operate whilst a unit is away for repair. The final parameter is the mean number of returns. This is derived by dividing the fleet operating time by the mean time between removals. And is equal to the average number of returns that you would expect during the repair delay period. In this case the repair delay is 30 days and Space Calculator is telling us that during this time we should expect an average of 18.14 failures. The fifth region shows our original optimization goal. You might also notice that Space Calculator has converted the MTBSL goal into a stock out risk goal. 
In this case, an MTBSO goal of 10 years converts to a stock out risk goal of 0.82%. The sixth region shows the recommended number of spares. It also shows the total cost and the predicted MTBSO and stock out risk figures. In this case, 29 spare units should give us a stock out risk of 0.65% and a mean time between stock out of 12 years. Spares Calculator 3.0 has been designed specifically to simplify the reporting process. Here's an example. Let's say that we're producing a report for a customer or an internal sponsor. First of all, we can add any unnecessary tabs by clicking on this checkbox. Next, we take a screenshot of the chart and the annotation panel by clicking on this button, and we save it to our desktop. Next, we open our document and insert our screenshot. We can repeat this exercise for the tabular data or we can insert a full screenshot by selecting export from the main menu and then selecting screenshot full screen. We can then save this to our desktop and finally we can insert it into our document. And that's it. That's how easy it is to forecast spare parts using Space Calculator. Thanks for watching.